Welcome to uh, Code Red Radio. This is Luke. I'm here with, uh, you know, Nick from the first episode and our friend Julian's here to join us. He's actually driving us around today. Uh, We got, uh, oh, what the hell, this Kid Rock song. What's the name of his song? I believe it's All Summer Long. Yeah, All Summer Long by Kid Rock, one of my favorite artists. And one of my favorite, just like... Kid Rock's one of your favorite artists? One of my favorite artists and one of my favorite uh, political activists as well. Yeah, okay, that was my follow-up mm-hmm. question on where he's still in politics. Oh my Shit. god, my Mar- cheddar's box. Oh, yeah, Monte Cristo <laughs> down. My Monte Cristo leftovers just flew across the car. They're actually Monte Cristos because they're mini Monte Cristos. Wait, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got two triangles of Monte Cristo. Um, I'm here today, we're going to talk about Cocaine Bear. We just watched the movie, so if you haven't seen the movie and don't want any spoilers... Uh, quit listening now. Uh, we're coming off our last episode where I talked about Logan Lucky. I think that got maybe 15 to 20 views on YouTube, which is pretty good. So, uh, first thoughts to go to Julian. Julian, what would you give that movie on a scale of 1 to 5? Uh, 1 to 5. 2. Wow. Okay. Nick, the next the same uh, question. i give it a, a 1 and a half. Oh my gosh, you guys are a lot lower than I thought. I would probably give it a 2.5 uh, to 3. Uh, two bags of popcorn, two cups of soda, and a little rolled up dollar bill to snort coke with. A dollar bill, dog. You got at least go with one. You broke his hell. Yeah, oh my here. god, what a song! Nick, this is break it down. It's definitely gonna get uh, taken down off YouTube. Nick, tell us D- what DMCA takeout. This is Jeremy by Pearl Jam. Mm-hmm. Coming to you right now on Code Red Radio. What a song. I like to be quiet for a little bit and just listen. Oh, I didn't right. know. Okay, it no, it's still going. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just let it go for a second. But first, Pearl Jam. Bill Simmons. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Crazy Bill Simmons reference. No, he always does it at the beginning of his podcast. Ah, I'm not familiar with him. But first, Pearl Jam. Uh, Nick, let's get in deep dive into the movie now. Yeah. What? did you not like about it? Why did uh, you give it such a bad rating? Kind of what we were saying as we were walking out. Um, I just didn't really care about any of the characters. Um, like you said, they had this, you know, overarching plot, which obviously movies have to have a plot, but mm-hmm. Cocaine Bear was just so silly and over the top that I think we could just done an hour and 35 minutes. Jesus. And this is my Monte Cristo game. Just, just, just don't put it up it's there. Sorry. Yeah, that's my, gonna, that's my fault. Right, right. um, but I like, um, to jump off your point there, uh, oh, sorry, you want to, do you have I, any, no, go ahead. Go well, ahead. it just gets back to my, again, like I was saying, my Godzilla versus King Kong thoughts where there's some stupid plot going on throughout that whole movie that no one cares about or even knows what's happening when all you need in a Godzilla versus King Kong is them fighting for two hours at different locations. Yeah. Cocaine bear, I get you got to explain why there's coke in the woods and the bear eats it. But then after that, we don't really need to know anymore. It could just be the bear high on cocaine, eating person after person. And that would be a fun hour and a half. Yeah. I, Julian, tell me if I'm wrong. No, you're you're right completely. I didn't give a shit about Ray Liotta. He's dead. Well, so that, why would I care about him in the movie? Well, the rest in yeah. peace to Ray Liotta. We're right, all big Ray Liotta fans. I'm gonna stop you right there, and I do want to say R.I.P. to Ray Liotta. Yeah, I'm not sure why you had to attack Ray Liotta. Here. Yeah, by R.I.P. I mean rest in piss. No, okay. You know what? We're cutting this short because that actually just pissed me off, and Julian will never be back on here. I got Noah O'Brien texting me all day long saying, I love Code Red Radio and I want to be a guest. We need Noah O'Brien on. If you hear this, we're going to get in touch with you. We're going to get you on. Julian is permanently banned from Code Red Radio after his Ray Liotta outburst. I know you're loving this jam about Pearl Jam. Yeah, you know what, Nick? We're going to get you on the show ASAP. I'm going to let this play the next 45 seconds of nothing but Jeremy about Pearl Jam. Uh, Signing off here on Code Red Radio. Shout out to Noah. We're going to get you on here soon. Oh, now here's Jeremy about Pearl Jam. I'm gonna keep it on till then because I love that part. Dude, coming up right here. Right now. Okay. 
I hope we can hear you good, Nick, because you're in the back seat, but I hope right. it... I, I'm, we'll see. I think you are here, but... I try to raise my voice, you know. Right. Gonna, we're going to yeah. let this roll on until the woo-woo part comes on. Yes. Rest in peace, Ray Liotta. Thanks for listening to Code Red Radio, everybody.